Hey guys, CT Stealth here, and this is Introduction to 3D Effects. I'm going to be walking you through how to create uh, an explosion in like a scene. And this is the beginning, the starting video. Uh, it's called Setting Up. Um, as you can see here, I have like an image plane. And you, you can see I have a, uh, a plane as well as a cube. And what this is, is what I'm doing is I'm setting up my scene to be utilized. Um, so I'm going to come over here to the perspective view and kind of show you what I've done. Uh, this here is the image plane. It's being projected by this camera over here. And to do that, I'm going to go to the attribute editor and go down to it's the camera shape, environment, create image plane. And you can just click create and then can uh, scroll down to the image name and upload your image. Then you're going to have to position your camera to mimic the perspectives. So what I've done here is uh, this is x-ray mode so I can see I've positioned the camera so that the lines of the, of the plane matched the streets to represent the ground. I use that by going the x-ray and I can't unfortunately I can't zoom in on this camera because if I do that it's gonna mess up my uh, my projection it's gonna move the image plane so so like say if I just move the, the image plane moves so well I just undid it but that's all right I, I, I still have this saved so anyway um let me just open that back up Real fast, don't save. All right then. So as you can see, the image plane. Let me turn off the X-ray so you can see it better. The the what I use is was these little the edges of this image plane. They follow along straight down here. And normally I would have this bigger resolution and you'll be able to see the rest of the image that comes down here. But uh, I, I kind of can't because I'm reducing the resolution for YouTube purposes so just kind of bear with me but uh, as you can see on this side more clearly that the, the lines are almost parallel and if I go to the x-ray you can kind of see I'm not sure how well this will show up on YouTube but the lines of the cube here match the sides of the building and that's exactly what I want I want to use these cubes here to recreate the the scene and I don't have to make it as detailed as these architectures are because you can see here in this image that there's these little points and there's these huge triangles so that's to me that's a cone uh, I'm not anywhere near the camera so it's not going to be a scene as bad all we want is we want these cubes to have our texture on them so you need to make sure that your cubes and stuff all line up with with your projection if they don't if it's weird if they're strangely spaced your projection might be a little bit off and you might need to like back up the camera or move it forward maybe even rotate it depending on how bad your uh, parallels are here um, but if you can since I have this saved um, I can manipulate my camera if I move if I want to move everything like in the scene up uh, I'm gonna actually have to move it down in this so because like it's a weird parallax kind of deal I'm not I, I have a hard time grasping it but if I move the camera here everything on this side is gonna it's reverse of whatever I do here so if I move the camera up everything will move down if I move the camera down everything will move up same thing goes with turning. If I move left, it goes right, and if I move right, it goes left. Um, it's it's just something you kind of get used to as you do it. And um, so basically, this is a uh, kind of the setup. Uh, it took me about 45 minutes to get this right. So if you don't have that kind of time, I, I try to try to make make sure you have enough time to fiddle around with this. Uh, sometimes it can take longer, especially if you're not used to doing this. But um, basically, you need to try to recreate 
whatever you're going to uh, I guess it make blow up so like if I want this building to blow up here I'm gonna create the cubes and I'm gonna create uh, the cubes all in front of this building I might come over here create the cone here and make this cube and make whatever this round thing is a cylinder uh, the cube here and then that's gonna be in front of of these things uh, anything that's overlapping this building uh, will need a cube in front of it because we need to be able to create uh, uh, we need objects to go behind the building so like if it explodes a uh, piece of debris is gonna fall behind this building so I need a cube there in order to um, make the object disappear now I'll kinda kinda demonstrate that a little bit if I can I don't have to go to perspective Right. So I just create like this, and a bit over here, and all right, so like this. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it about this size. I mean, that's a big chunk of debris. But if this is the building, I need to go behind the building. So that's why I need the cube. Uh, the cube will define the edges of the building, and we can do this by placing uh, uh, a texture. Uh, we'll we we'll use the uh, use background shader texture which basically what it does is it just replicates any texture that's behind it and uh, makes it its own and we'll need to like solidify that so um, I'll get into that kind of stuff later on but uh, for the most part you need to worry about uh, placing these buildings and getting them to line up in perspective uh, in case you can't do that I'm gonna put my my Maya version on there and you can put in the buildings yourself depending on what you're gonna blow up so if you want to blow up this um, you'll have to use your own building but I'm just gonna load this up to like file front and you can you, you'll have the perspective you can just place in the buildings yourself and uh, well I'll see you next video um, I'm going to be talking about uh, rigid bodies because we need to be able to create pieces of of debris to kind of like chunk forward like huge chunks so we use uh, rigid bodies to do so so uh, I'll see you next time